Hello, my name is Victoria Rose and we're on another hotel exploration adventure. Oh, it's cold. Uh, it's been a long journey here and we're already off to an absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible start. I know I always say this, but I hate buses with a fervent passion. I'm freezing and fucking cold, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know how, but every single time, every single time I take the bus, somehow I go the wrong way, I get off the wrong stop, I waste money using it, and I had to walk to the train station in the end anyways. I don't know why this happens, it just does, and it's it's something I've been practicing. With your husband, like, what do you want to do? It's still a struggle. I finally managed to get there, though, I always do. But today we're gonna to check out the smallest and cheapest hotel I could find in all of New York City. This is a $30 hotel. Now it's not always $30, but I always go through Goda. So I got it for $30. It's usually around like 40, I guess. And it's in Chelsea. I don't know the area at all. So if you're from New York or whatever, just ignore everything. <laughs> but this is definitely one of the smallest. And kind of like the theme is pod capsule type of hotel because it's so small. So I'm gonna go check this out right now. I finally found the place. It was a very small sign and you had to call to be able to get in. They didn't answer at first, so I kept calling. I was finally able to get in and it's up a lot of stairs. So I am very, very grateful that I did not have suitcases this time around because I've had to deal with this a lot traveling internationally with my suitcases. There was a dog whenever I first got up there and I was actually happy because he was adorable. Very easy um, paper and pen type of check-in. Um, I think I, pay, I got it from Agoda. Oh, yeah, you okay, yeah. And very, very, very friendly owner. It's a very basic, simple room. There is a bed, there's a book. Um, that's about it. And it is not soundproof in any way, shape or form at all. The top is actually not ceilinged in. And outside the owner was making veggie dogs and he asked if I wanted one and I said, yeah, cause I was kind of hungry. And that was very, very kind of him. It was, it's a whole vegetarian place. So any food that they serve is all vegetarian, which is kind of cool. It's an interesting place because it's kind of like a mix between a hostel and a capsule hotel and also like a homestay, honestly. And to me, it was very clean and did not smell bad or anything. So that's a huge plus. I didn't sense any type of griminess. You can't make any noise because you're literally just in a, a tiny little pod with a bunch of other people around, but some thin walls separating you. Yeah. Sure, one second. He then let me know my veggie dog was done and he didn't have to make it for me. It was just because he was being kind. And I was glad that I didn't have to go into the city to try and find something to eat because a lot of things are closed at that time. There's a very small kind of bar stool area to eat and everything is very narrow and little. Obviously it's a very small enclosed space, no windows either. There was proper protocol for COVID and I brought a book to read, and then I went and washed my face in the bathroom. I don't know why I dried my face with paper towels. Um, they gave you, they give you a towel. I guess I forgot. As you can see, there's a bunch of little pods or or capsules, little rooms. You also get a key for your room, so you can lock it whenever you come and go. This isn't really a place you would stay throughout the day. So I, that's why I got there at nighttime. So I could kind of just go to sleep pretty quickly. Um, I tried to go to sleep, but as you guys know, I have severe insomnia at all times. And I didn't really sleep, but that's not the place's fault. I had to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. It was relatively quiet. I feel like if it wasn't during COVID, it might be noisier. And 
even harder to sleep. I feel like since there's no soundproofing at all, you have to be a really heavy sleeper to be able to sleep in these types of places, but that's how all hostels and capsule hotels are. Also, when I booked on Agoda, there was a option for a men's only space and then the normal space. So I got the normal space. I don't know where the separation was. Instead of sleeping, I just went on my phone because I have Wi-Fi as well. And I also just listen to music. It's hard to tell when morning is because there are no windows, but in the morning I got up from my alarm but also around like six or seven, it's too noisy to be able to sleep anyways, for me personally. So I got up and went to get a shower to see what the showers were like. Like I said, because of COVID and no one's really traveling, I feel like this place would probably be a lot more packed um, normally, but it was, there wasn't a lot of people, so it was good, a good time to go anyways. Also, I forgot my toothbrush and don't judge me, but I realized that this organic natural hand sanitizer that I have is actually just like peppermint oil. So um, don't, it's safe, trust me. I looked at the ingredients. They also serve breakfast in the morning, but I'm too shy to figure out where that was at. Also, I wanted to get a bagel and coffee like a proper New Yorker. So I skipped the breakfast but they had it from 8 till 11 and I went outside in the rain because it was a rainy day, unfortunately. It was really nice to wake up and to be able to go right out into the city during a better time. I would have explored around, but everything is fucked up, so I got a coffee and a bagel from a, a shop. Everybody in the morning in New York City carries around a coffee, I've noticed. I'm really good at finding the bus now back to New Jersey at the bus terminal, but just not good at getting it into the city, into New York. All right, so I'm back in New Jersey. So the plan was to spend time in New York today, but since it's a rainy day, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Because the only things I can do would be outside. And it was raining. So then I'm like, I'm just gonna go home and eat my bagel. So I'll show you the bagel I got. I feel like I'm becoming proper New York. It's taking a lot of learning. This is how it goes with culture. Anyhow. Anyhow. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we're going to do that because I'm hungry and I, I, there might be a nap involved today because I did not sleep at all. I never sleep at hostels and hotels. It's just a thing I kind of have come to accept. I don't even sleep in my own bed, so I just don't sleep. But um, it's very important for me to do these types of things. You guys might think it's weird. It's important to get out of my comfort zone and I haven't for a while now, so I, um, yeah, maybe I'll explain more when I'm eating my bagel. Let's look at the bagel that we got. Here's my authentic New York bagel. Wait, hold on, I just got cream cheese everywhere. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I was very sheltered growing up. So I never got to go out and do anything or see any of the world. You know, I lived on a farm in the country and I never had any friends and I was homeschooled. Since I moved out, um, I've just been doing as much as I can for the budget that I have. And to put myself in interesting and sometimes uncomfortable, but interesting situations. Whenever I don't do that for a while, I start going inside myself and I start getting comfortable and I start getting scared of things. Going out and doing these things especially now during all of this, having little mini adventures and stuff like that is really important for me. And just to see new things and see new people. I don't socialize too much, but I do as much as I can. And that's the lesson for today. It doesn't have to make sense. Make sure you subscribe and like. I love you guys very much. Stick to terrestrial. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Who knows what I'll get into then. <laughs> okay, bye. I